My name is Lauren Latier. My degree is in mechanical engineering, and from there I grew an interest in biomechanics. So something cool that I did here at CSU, we did a project on lower limb exoskeletons. I actually modeled the actuator. Okay, I think Dana and Brittany are working on some really cool stuff. Let's go see what they're doing. Welcome to the Human Motion and Control Lab. In this lab, we have an instrumented split belt treadmill and these motion capture cameras around this top ring here. This allows us to detect movement and work with individuals with neuromuscular disorders and look at different rehabilitation therapies. So I'm gonna show you how we apply these retroreflective markers on a human subject with my lab mate, Taylor. When we apply these markers, we're looking for bony landmarks. This allows us to track somebody's motion in 3D space and then create models with them. You can see Taylor walking on the treadmill. Um, cortex and d are picking up those marker movements and we can create those 3D models that Brittany was talking about. And I learned how to use all of the software when I was part of the research experience for undergraduates here at CSU over the summer. In this lab, we work with rehabilitation devices for people with spinal cord injuries. It's a really multidisciplinary field and we're working with physical therapists, occupational therapists, and a variety of different kinds of engineers. One of the ways that we help people with spinal cord injuries is through electrical stimulation. I've been working on undergraduate research for the past couple years and it's led to a lot of opportunities. I'm taking classes for the four plus one so I can get my master's degree in an additional year. So about 35 million Americans have diabetes. My research focuses on the ways that diabetes affects the nerves. The longest nerve runs all the way even to your feet. The networking opportunities and education I've received at Cleveland State University have allowed me to be more successful in my research. I've worked with faculty at CSU, the Cleveland Clinic, and I've even watched surgeries at the clinic. I really have an understanding on how my work and how my research impacts clinicians and makes a difference. I love CSU's co-op program. I did a co-op at an international orthopedic company, which led me to my current research in cardiac stent design. We look at how we can improve stents using a shape memory alloy called nitinol. Currently in the center, we are working on the indigo exoskeleton. This is an exoskeleton used for lower limb patients who experience paralysis. Here's my code here. Typically, you will be able to catch yourself if you fall, but people who have paralysis aren't able to do that, so that's what we're going to try to emulate within our exoskeleton. So here at CSU, our students are encouraged to take on a lot of leadership roles. Currently, I am serving as the National PCI Chair of the National Society of Black Engineers. And in that position, I'm able to talk to a bunch of students like you and get them interested into STEM. We are working on creating a tissue construct that can help bring back function and develop muscle again. To do so, it is important to understand the chemical properties, the mechanical properties, and the physiological aspects of cells. I know that you guys have seen so many cool things and there's so much more for you to see. Come and visit us here at the Washkowitz College of Engineering. Sé que han visto cosas muy chéveres y hay mucho más por descubrir. Visítanos aquí en Cleveland State University.